up the new kid at school find his classroom. He almost took the wrong directions, but I showed him the right way. That was awesome of you to do. Just make sure that you take the right directions too. It's a great day here at Keys for Kids. My name is Zach. Thanks for tuning in. When you want to get on a sports team, you have to be pretty good, or at least better than the other kids. Whether or not you make the team will depend on how well you do at the tryout. You might be good enough to get on a team, but you know you can't be good enough to get into heaven, not on your own. See, you have to be perfect, but Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But the next verse shows how we can be saved. It says we are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Let's learn more about that today. Our story is entitled, The Right Way. As August walked down the hallway at school, he saw a little boy crying up ahead. An older girl, August's age, was talking to him. Don't cry. I know how to get to Miss Shelby's classroom, August heard the girl say as he got closer. You go that way until you get to the gym, then turn right and go three doors down. And that's Miss Shelby's room. August frowned. Those directions weren't right. As the girl went on her way, August approached the little boy. Hey, you're new here, aren't you? The boy looked at him wide-eyed and nodded. That girl gave you the wrong directions, said August. You have to turn left at the gym, not right. The boy's lip began to tremble and August patted his shoulder. Look, he said, I'll take you there, okay? The boy smiled and nodded, and soon August had delivered him to his classroom. When August got home later that day, he told his mom what had happened. I'm glad you were there to help, said mom. By the way, Milo's mom texted me. Milo wants you to go to Bible club with him tomorrow night. I hope you'll go. Okay, said August. But mom, I wish you'd quit worrying about whether I'm going to heaven. His mom had recently become a Christian, and she often tried to talk to him about trusting in Jesus, too. I'll be there, August said with a smirk. Uncle Scott says I'm such a good kid that if anybody makes it to heaven, it'll be me. Well, I agree with Uncle Scott that you're a good kid, said Mom. But he's wrong about the way to heaven. I'm afraid you're like that little boy at school. He was ready to follow directions from someone who didn't really know the way. Mom paused for a moment. God tells us how we can be saved and have eternal life. His word, the Bible, says it's not people's goodness that will get them to heaven. You were that boy's way to his class. You took him there. And Jesus is the only way to heaven. We need him to save us and make us right with God so we can spend eternity with him. August was startled. Maybe Mom's right, he thought. I need to make sure I'm going the right way. Well, how about you? Are you following the right directions to heaven? God's directions are the only ones that can be trusted, and they're found in his book, the Bible. He says Jesus is the way, the only way to be saved from sin and have eternal life. Don't be fooled into thinking you can get to heaven any other way. Trust in Jesus today. For more information on what it means to trust in Jesus, get your parents' permission first. Then go to keysforkids.net slash salvation. Our key verse is found in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. And our key thought for today, Jesus is the only way to heaven. Would you like to get Keys for Kids in the mail for free? When you sign up, I'll send you the printed Keys for Kids book every three months. Ask your parents to sign up for a free subscription at keysforkids.org slash get keys. That's keysforkids.org slash get keys. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.